have a box opening on the Crafted Channel. Let's see what we have. It's a box and a chuck key and a chuck key. Chuck keys first. I ordered these as a gamble. I was trying to find a chuck key to fit the Detroit drill press that I bought. Let's go check it out. So here we have our Detroit drill press much in need of being cleaned up. Now after I ordered chuck keys I found this chuck key not put away in a proper place that kind of appears to fit it but you know if you work with it you can kind of make it slip so I don't think it really does. Let's check this key out. Yeah, I've got the same thing here. I've got several chuck keys that seem to work okay with it. I guess this works with it better. So this is probably the one I'll leave with it. I've got a couple more chuck keys to throw in my chuck key drawer. A brooch set. Working on the South Bend lathe pulley. I've got it all done with the exception of broaching it. So this set was $178.99 from Char's Tool. And I'm, I bought it to broach this pulley that I've got sold for 50 bucks. <laughs> so hopefully I'll make some more and I'll recoup the cost of my kit here. So let's see, I need to do a half inch brooch. Here we go. So this would be the insert for that. I'm sorry, not half inch, five eighths. And three sixteenths keyway. Oh, I see. This is eighth inch. Let me check that. Yeah, that's that's the eighth inch brooch. This should be the 3 16 brooch. Which is measuring through the plastic pretty thick. Let's check it out. Oh no, it wasn't measuring pretty thick. So this measures uh, 75, 85, 90, 191. So that's my 3 16 brooch. And I need to make a keyway to duplicate this one. Now, I don't have a press. I'm going to see if I can do this on the drill press probably going to be a fail. But let's try it out. It's a high speed steel set. Now I had a choice here and 
I really wanted this a little sooner rather than later, but I kind of had my heart set on buying a uh, an American brand, but getting a used set. And I ended up buying new here, and I'm trying to change over to where I've got enough tools now, so I'd rather wait for the American stuff. But let's do a little review on this set and see how well it does on this pulley. And perhaps we should broach it from the other side. Let's go over the drill press and see if this is impossible. I happen to have this box of blankets I can put down here. Catch the brooch. You have to make sure it goes into the hole. Oh. This feels like it is going to be possible. It doesn't take very much force at all. Or at least it's force that seems to be within the capability of the drill press. Oh, now it's getting tight. Maybe I just got to the bottom of the stroke of the drill press. Let's try this again. Oh no, we're too tight. So I guess I do need to find a press in order to do this. Alright, got the old plastic hammer out. Went around the neighborhood to my neighbors that have tools and none of them have a shop press. You know, I'm going to make a tool. Didn't have to make a tool, I found it. Look at that in my scrap metal. Hmm. I'll sand into that off. Ah, need to clean up this old chuck. So now I'm putting pressure on the face of the chuck and not the jaws. This is not an acceptable solution. I need a shop press. If you've got one, I'll send you my address. Don't panic. I want to see what kind of pushing power this rig might have. Don't panic. I want to see what kind of pushing power a lathe tailstock might have. <laughs> Not enough. Look. I just don't think I own a tool capable of doing this. Getting ready to do the broaching on my new Harbor Freight 20 ton shop press. And I had to extend the ram quite a bit to get down to the brooch. And I don't have enough stroke left to finish pushing the brooch through, I would presume. This press would be better if it had twice as many holes in it so that you could make a finer adjustment of the height of the bed. Because I don't have fine enough adjustment of the press bed, I'm going to have to use a spacer here. I miss my dad in his shop. Boy, did he have a nice press. I tried to broach this using a drill press, and I just couldn't get enough force. 
I want to make sure that I don't put the, the uh, brooch in a bind because these are brittle. Goes through there like butter. I have a box on the ground to catch the brooch so it doesn't hit anything hard and chip or break. And there the brooch drops through. So there's the shavings that's in there. Remember I did that first pass about partially with a uh, drill press. So there's our first pass on the brooch. Looks like it took out, I don't know, a 16th maybe? 3 16th keyway. Set this up again, put our thin shim in, this spaces the brooch forward slightly. And we'll take another pass. Put in a spacer block. So here's the motor for my personal South Bend lathe, and remember I'm making this pulley to fit a lathe of a business customer that I have. I'm setting him up with a lathe in his shop, and I want to see if this keyway is deep enough. I don't know if I need to put both shims in and take another pass, but look, it goes on. So it's three passes with the tool to produce a pulley. Isn't that beautiful? fits and everything and it's just like no extra play it's awesome beautiful 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 bison workshop and I both contribute steps to this process kind of a joint project you can make something out of a hunk of aluminum This has been Dave with the Crafted Channel. It's interesting, the financial story of this pulley. It's maybe $5 worth of aluminum. 
it's $179 worth of broaching kit. I have many sizes of brooches, many sizes of bushings, and all of the stuff so I can broach things now. I got $159 in the press. It was uh, $199 with a 20% off coupon. And I think I still have to buy a set screw. I borrowed this one from my lathe. Also, I could build a pulley that I have sold for $50. So think twice before you criticize the price of something a businessman makes. Um, there's a lot of hidden expenses. Now, of course, I have the power to make many pulleys. And uh, I may do that just so that I can earn these tools for free. The world's not full of something for nothing. You actually have to do something to get it. This has been Dave on the Crafted Channel. Join us in the future. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll get some more projects done.